Hi, I'm Jonathan. I am the Mini Pig Farrier, and we're going to talk a little bit about what to look for when a hoof trim needs to get uh, needs to get taken care of. So we've got uh, Pig Pig here, all buttoned up and and relaxed. So looking at the top, the biggest indicator you see is this hook where it comes over top. When you're sitting here with this crossed hoof, you're putting a lot of extra stress on these joints. Then you end up these muscles in here end up not being able to stabilize so if you look at this one this one was the same way beforehand there's still a little bit of hook in it but you can see the toe itself in there curves all the way over to the side um my own little term is comma toe because it it hooks like a comma but keeping those toes maintained will make the make them sit a lot better and there's a lot less pressure on the joints the other thing that you keep an eye on is all this build up along the hairline and all these ridges coming down. All that stuff starts here at this hairline. I like to call it a cuticle more than a hairline because it acts just like a cuticle. If this cuticle is damaged or in bad shape, then the hoof itself grows out and just is in kind of poor shape. If you come to the bottom, you can see the ridges are starting to form inside here and you can even see the ridges of all the extra layers in there. All that stuff's going to come off, and you you know you'll end up with a hoof that's kind of more like this, you know, kind of like how the other one was looking. It's more straight and parallel. The other thing is when you pull the hoof back, like how they're walking, you want these to be about at the hairline. She's wearing this one pretty well, but we'll take and put a little bit of flat spot on the top of this, so she's got a little bit more room to work. But you can see on this side, she's growing out quite a bit, so she's going to actually come down, you know, and you're going to bring it down into here. Uh, my philosophy is with these hooves, just because it can come off doesn't mean it should come off. You can take these dew claws down a ways further still, but we're not going to do that because we want to leave for stability in there. And then the other thing you look for is, is if there's any cracking or things like that. This line right here is actually uh, the start of a crack, and this would come from this actual cuticle damage going on in here. So getting these hooves moisturized and getting a, a good conditioning product on them will help this uh, this pig grow out exponentially better. On the front here, you can even see where this toe has come across and wore on it, where this flat spot is here. She actually walked with this toe underneath for a while, and that's that wear line like that. So there's a lot of different things going on here, but we'll get her all cleaned up and she'll be set to go.